Hello, I'm Philip Martin, one of the pastors and the head of staff at Epiphany Lutheran Church in Richmond, Virginia. It's hard to believe that it's been a year of worshiping during a COVID pandemic. I am amazed and thankful at the ways God has sustained us as a community this year, and even more amazed at the ways God has worked through our congregation to reach out and support the community in a time of need. It needs to be said, God is good all the time. All the time, God is good. I wanted to update you on where we are with our worship life and what kinds of changes we can expect in the coming months as vaccination rates rise and restrictions elsewhere are lifted. As you may know, we have been holding in-person worship in our sanctuary since mid-July 2020. These worship services have limited capacity, somewhere around 20% of our sanctuary, and do not involve any singing. Worshipers are required to wear face masks and socially distance. These worship services have provided a safe way for people to gather and praise God together during a tense time in our life. Beginning Sunday, March 14th, we will be holding two in-person worship services, one at 9 a.m. and a second one at 10.30 a.m. We will not increase the capacity at this time because social distancing is still very important. If you arrive and cannot locate a free pew, then you can sit on a pew with someone else as long as you are still six feet away from them. Our pews offer plenty of space from end to end, and they don't squeak as much as they used to because we got them all fixed. For the time being, we are refraining from singing, and we will continue to distribute Holy Communion each Sunday by way of individual sanitary communion wafer and wine cups. People will still need to use the Sign Up Genius link to reserve a spot at worship, but we are hoping that by adding another worship service, no one will be prevented from worshiping with us on a Sunday morning if they want to. We will continue offering our pre-recorded worship service on Facebook and YouTube for a while, but at some point this spring or summer, we will most likely change our online worship to a live stream format. We are still working out the details of that transition. The hope of everyone, of course, is that we will resume an in-person worship service that resembles what we were all used to as soon as possible, a worship that allows us to share the Lord's Supper at the communion rail, that allows us to sing the hymns of praise to God together and greet one another for a time of what Martin Luther called the mutual conversation and consolation among the sistren and brethren. A modern term for that is coffee and donuts. These things will come in due time. But our advisory team of medical professionals here at Epiphany emphasize that all of that is dependent on vaccination rates. The quicker we reach a high rate of vaccination in our community and in our congregation, the quicker we may return to normal. About a year ago, we mentioned that we will all have to be relatively nimble throughout this pandemic. That is, we would need to be ready to change plans quickly and adjust to new information as it arises. We are thankful for how you've responded to that need to be nimble. And we're asking you to continue that with us for a bit longer. By looking for those weekly e emails and the links to sign up for worship, you will be helping us prepare for that time. When you venture back, at your own pace, of course, you will find we are taking the pandemic very seriously, but we are also excited and ready to receive you in the grace of God. Blessings on your Lent.